Willkommen auch zusammen, zusammen, willkommen zu, zu Hause, zusammen, all, all, alles kam es zusammen. I don't, oh, <laughs> fuck. What? <laughs> I clicked to get an accident. Poor Quack, it's poor been too quack. long since I took German and it's all gone. <laughs> Fais-moi le bouche, mon petit Alles kam es, kam es zusammen. Everybody come here. Femme la bouche. Femme la bouche. Like if you're like a kindergartner teacher and like, and like the recess is ending, I think you would say like alles comme zusammen. Allez bien. Hey, she made it. Oh, <laughs> yay! <laughs> Kiki made it up on Kiki's bed. My bed is bed. even taller, -er -er, and Kiki has not jumped on it until just now. Yeah, he added she a box spring. It. Yeah. So and we was I was debating whether I should long. be able to make it. It's it's too high. It's higher than my hips, and I am not a short person. So you have to just like <laughs> climb yeah. up into bed every day now. Yeah, it's a, it's. I have to kind of hop into bed. Whoa! Oh, it's the oh, ice barrier or something. So that definitely means that she can jump that fence. <laughs> I'm pretty sure. You know, I think Kiki doesn't jump the fence just out of politeness because she's... she doesn't respect the fence in any other way. She plows through Oops, it. Fuck. She like dismantles it and she lock picks it. It might just be a mental block. <laughs> It's, I think for a lot of dogs, it's just like they just need to not... They, they don't know if they can for a while. And so then they, they'll just believe, they'll fall into that belief. My family had an English Mastiff. And we had a gate that we wouldn't even actually like put up. we just lean it up against the door frame. Yeah, and and she would like just sit barrier. there and cry. Because she just yeah. thought she couldn't... If she just walked forward, she would have pushed it over. But Because isn't it also dogs? Are the, isn't that the story of like how you can like... You can like chain them in a corner growing up or something. And then they'll like... Just kind of believe they can't leave that area, like after you take it off, or is that like something zoo related? We, uh, I'm not sure about that one, but I know <laughs> I know that they sell uh, shock collars. They never forget their limits. <laughs> they sell shock collars, which I don't necessarily agree with. But what you do is there, you have like electric fences, and you put little little flags in front of the electric fence because the wire goes under the ground, so the dog can't see it. So if the dog crosses the flags, Got they'll get shot. Oh shit! All of these. Okay. Um, but what you can do is if you if you yeah, train them the that ones. way, you can bring the flags with you places. Like if you go camping, and the dog will still not pass the the flags even if the collar is not you on get the red ones. because they think it's still working. I. What do we gain from this one again? We're going to get fire glow seeds for Beverly. Beverly can get her own shit. Uh, that's not how this game works. <laughs> no. Yeah, everybody needs us to get all their shit from them. Oh wow, that spiral thing gets a lot of stuff. Oh, oh. oh that's, yeah, that's, that's really that, cool. That's what we want to do, actually. It's a good strat, Keith. That'll good get strat. you the glimpse. Come on, come on, fucker. Woo! That's satisfying. It also sounds like the game's glitching a little bit. <laughs> Brr. Ride the tiger. <laughs> I was, I was uh, sorry, guys. I was singing Dio before we started, and that was stuck in my head. And then I made a very stupid pun, and and, and in the process taught her the word taiga. Ride the tiger. Like forest. You can feel his heart, but you know he's mean. Some light can get it, get it, get it, get it. never be or seen. One of my favorite things ever is in that episode of South Park where they have a school dance and Dio performs at their school dance. Which is very funny because no one there knows who Dio is and all the kids just dance anyway. Yeah, they just did it, it have a good time. <laughs> warmed my heart. Man, I, you, man, if you're in a free fall when you do the spirally thing, it's a much bigger area. Well, yeah, you're just like... You, you're a, it's an active movement. It feel, it's, that noise is so nice. The popping of all these little... <laughs> The the annihilation of a population of 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 fireflies for just killing them all. Gosh, <laughs> grave of the fireflies. Oh no! <laughs> oh no! Don't make me cry. I can't. Are we Don't still, make me cry. It's like a long one. I say as it's maybe over. You just, you just, you just ended it with your thought. Was it waiting for me to get off the ladder? <laughs> Maybe. Didn't it weirdly feel like nothing was happening until I got off the ladder? Hello. That was quite a show. I've never seen so many lights at the same time. And I've been on a movie set. A movie called Miss Coyote came to shoot some scenes in town. They needed an abandoned ranch, and there was the perfect one next to my parents' house. They were shooting at night. They needed these giant light bulbs to make it look like the moon was shining down. It was impressive. I don't think I slept the whole night. 
The glow was coming through my bedroom window. They were so close I could hear the actress say their lines. What was the name of that actress? She had curly blonde hair. She owned the ranch in the movie. It was a ranch for outlaws to hide in. Oh well, it doesn't matter. What matters is that you got some fire glow seeds. Perfectly done, sweet pea. However, I can't do anything with just seeds. They need to spend some time underground. <laughs> you should visit our garden to get a spicy result. Oh, look at me with my big mouth. The biggest mouth. Yeah, what movie is that? That's a real movie? They need to spend some time underground. Like, what a weird way of phrasing. I don't know, I just thought that was a funny way of phrasing that. I was like that line in Juno where she's talking about her, her baby. And she's like, I should just let it sit in there, you know, get a little cuter. So it's not underdone. Like, I don't know, she like, talks about it like it's a cake or something. Mm -hmm. You know, let it get a little cuter. Fire glow. This place has plants in it already. The loser. Yeah, how dare. How do I do the thingy again? You're trying to g take the plants out? Can you do that? Like, can you destroy- no, Oops, fuck, the, damn it, I the, keep- the, our least ah. used mechanic of the entire playthrough, playing music. Oh, oh, oh. See, I, I forgot that existed already. I- I swear- every time I press every single button, I can't find it. I did press Y. What? Did why, you? Y opens the menu. Doesn't play music. Some cheese, Am I Mr. supposed to Goat. select which music to play? <laughs> what the fuck? What the fuck? Oh, you hold it. Okay. That's confusing. Okay. Time to play a mini game. I'm just gonna cook pork on its own. Because we need. This is the only. This is like the only objective we have. I think after this. Oh, because we'll be done. I think I'm going to wait for every character to come out, and then we can do them at the same time. Because then there'll be more to juggle than just one person's errands. Oh, yeah, yeah, no, I, I would I would, I would, would do the same. It's cool that there's new content, but it doesn't really make sense to play it on its own, one at a time, each time the game, like when it comes out. It definitely should be integrated <laughs> in the campaign. Like the... Uh, and our timing. The nature of this game... Like, I understand that... Like, there's a certain aspect of staggering in the sense that there are certain things that they are not make accessible. Me stop. They just oh, maybe because they're done. Maybe they just hated your music. I thought they made me stop because the sun came down, went down. I don't think so. But yeah, no, like you can tell there's like certain barriers that are like there Go to away, prevent sheep, you I can't from leave. doing everything at once. But I don't think there's- there might not be enough because I feel like it didn't stagger far enough. Or maybe we were just stupid about certain things. Well, we no, because Beverly came out after- like as we were beating the game. Well, no, I know that. But I mean, even with the other characters, like I feel like yeah. it got to a point where it gets lonely at the end. For a little, a little bit, I think the game just- uh, the game might be a little too long. And so you just kind of run into like all of its mechanics kind of start wearing thin by the end. Because it just—it's not that deep. <laughs> you, 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 you have cheer little, you have these cheery little conversations that get sad with a bunch of animals, and you do like the same tasks a bunch, and that's like most of the game. Oh no, I waited slightly too long. Wait, talking, that sounds like Animal inside. Crossing. Yeah, that's why I don't play Animal Crossing. I love Animal Crossing, but yeah, no, it's definitely Animal Crossing, not there. The characters don't have enough trauma. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I want like a really dark version of Animal Crossing. Looters Literary Review. I took slightly too long sitting there, so she went inside and now I have to wait till tomorrow. <laughs> Looters Literary Review presents the first of the Crow's End Incorporated Lost Bounty. And remember, salt can be a treacherous foe when you are made of ice. See enclosed... <laughs> Portaland? Portaland? Wow. Chart. What's a Portaland? I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, there's, there's still more stuff we could do, but I, that doesn't seem the most compelling. Which is we can... Uh, we can do all of Elena's tasks, and we can try to complete the entire achievement list of that one walrus lady. And also try to complete all the things that the Onion Man wants us to do. No, th this so kind those of... are just like, I want to play forever kind of things. As opposed to compelling content. So I think, okay, so I have the same... There is like this, this kind of problem, right? Where it's like, there is a game that is basically just tasking, but it loses motivation over time. 
Yeah. The, the greatest example I can think of this is actually like Harvest Moon. I used to play the fuck out of Harvest Moon, but you know how many times I've restarted Harvest Moon because you get to a point where it just stagnates because you've literally done everything that's satisfying. Oh, yeah. And you're like, oh, I already got married and I have a kid and I have to do the same shit forever until I die, which is something that actually happens in the <laughs> in, like the earlier Harvest Moons. You just die? Yeah, you get old. You actually age and you and like no one wants to play when you get old. Like, do you think I, as a kid, I want to watch myself get old and die? No, I want to restart really the funny. game and start over and pick a different girlfriend this time. Like... The, um... What is it? Uh, yeah, my old housemate Ashley actually, because she she uh, less Harvest Moon, but Stardew da St Stardew Valley, the spiritual successor. That's or you know, well, Stardew Valley is somebody trying to make Harvest Moon basically and yeah, then doing their own thing yeah. with it. I don't like the she, art style. Which is my she talked about the it. exact same thing where she would start over, over and over and over and over again because like the earlier loop is just more compelling than the later stuff. Well, yeah. she, she did the same thing with Subnautica too, where it was like like. Establishing a world and start and building your little base and stuff was like more compelling than like putting the time in to actually finish the story. No, I wanted to be introduced to all the characters, and then, and then in, the, in in the one that I used to play, it's a wonderful a wonderful life. Like fucking people would die. Like there's like an mm -hmm. old couple, like the old lady fucking dies. I don't like that. That's part. A weird to describe you murdering people. <laughs> no, no, I didn't. Well, I didn't people would just die somehow with my them. knife. <laughs> Some beautiful, perfectly spicy fire glow. Oh, what the heck? I can't keep it a secret for much longer. Do you remember when you first moved into the building? I had been there for years. I sold the house a few months after David died. The kids were heartbroken at first. They were never there. They just wanted their old rooms to stay perfectly intact, I suppose. Well, back to you. Your fridge broke on the first day. Oh, she's our landlady. Poor mm -hmm. thing. I could tell you were broke and couldn't afford takeout. Do you remember what happened? No, push no, because we want to hear it. <laughs> That's too bad. I made you soup. Not just any soup. My favorite soup in the whole wide you, world. And you don't even remember, you ungrateful little shit. <laughs> it was laksa. Ah, uh, there you go. What? My favorite food. Yeah, no, I already made it. Oh. Remember, that was the first thing I did. It's like, oh, it'll let me plant fire glow seeds. And I immediately did it. And I immediately <laughs> made, like, my favorite food. <laughs> Before this even happened. We even got her. It was the first thing I ate when I moved to the big city alone. I'd moved here to be closer to my sister. It was quite the trip. It took a few days. Well, when I got here, my neighbor, Air Aranya, from 32B, invited me to dinner. At first I thought that said Ariana, but it was spelled mm -hmm. interestingly. Grande? Uh, no. <laughs> no, she spells her name quite the ordinary way, but I've seen a million spellings that are very strange, especially for Stephanie. Gosh dang it. Neighbors were friendlier back then. She served laksa. I never tried it before, but I instantly fell in love. For a year straight, I must have invited myself to dinner at least once a week. Oh, what a pain in the ass. <laughs> Hopefully I didn't overstay my welcome. Her family was so nice. In any case, spicy food became my ultimate friendship test. Oh fuck, I'd fail it. You can stomach it, then you can stomach me. And you pass with flying colors. I couldn't help you with your fridge, but I could keep you fed. My gift to you is Aranya's family recipe. I can't recreate it anymore. Well, that's not true. I just believe that at my age, I've done enough cooking for a lifetime. I said to let someone else take the reins. If you cook a laksa, maybe we can share it. You just have to put fire glow and hmm, fire glow and that delicious power, powered, <laughs> powder of grain. <laughs> Sorry about that. Must have slipped my mind. You'll have to figure it out, I suppose. If I had laksa in front of me, I'd remember. And then a hundred people just Google what a laksa is, and they're like, oh, it's that. Wouldn't that be lovely? Helps you poop. Oh my gosh, Key. Do, do we already have it? No, I think... Oh. Okay, so I made something with the fire glow. It might not be the She's same exact She's starving one. to death. Well, I will make her her fucking food. Okay. It's, I think it's the only... Okay, I think I did the smart thing. Or what I did is I clicked the fire glow and I put it with the only thing it let me combine it with. Because that's just how you cook in this game. Oh yeah, there just wasn't enough options. Well, no, it's just, it's just like easier. Okay, so I have milk... I like how naturally in. this game converts into being a co-op game and that... You she just said grain, you, right? Like two different players will just naturally gravitate to different tasks, and so you don't have to deal with whatever what the one is that you don't want to do usually. <laughs> well, I mean that's only if you're fortunate to have somebody who like has other things they like to do. Because yeah. I mean, if you have the same thing you like to do, then nothing gets fucking done. I mean, hope most friends are pretty different from each other. Just, well, some just people are really way. similar. I don't know. 
All I know is that let's playing while trying to remember anything about cooking would stress me out. <laughs> All I know is <laughs> like trying to remember like the running list of what combinations I've tried or what ideas I have while I'm trying to do commentary and everything. I would lose my fucking mind. <laughs> I just know that if we play Minecraft, I'm going to run off an adventure and then I'm never going to homestead, which is the problem that everyone has <laughs> playing Minecraft with me. So you'll just keep it's, dying. It's not and always like, a good I don't thing. know where I died. <laughs> it's all gone now. Yeah, no, totally. 100%. <laughs> I'm like, I found great stuff. Ooh, I died. And they're like, go to bed, Stephanie. Go to bed. I'm like, I'm far away. I don't know. I don't even, I don't even have a bed. <laughs> Minecraft's really fun, even to do a series on. It's just. I did it, it, is I did it fun. I did it for a few months with a bird, and it was just that we, would, we just had trouble thinking of what to do. Like we would start the session and be like, what do I just like do? Like, is there something I want to build? And like that, that kind of like pressure of like, do something now. It's video time was like, it like ran out. <laughs> it, it can be overwhelming only because you see what other people make and you're yeah. like, what the fuck? Someone made a working calculator out of redstone? Like, I don't understand this at all. <laughs> yeah. But then we did do a, we did that one charity live stream for color of light or color. Mm, color of. <laughs> no, I can't remember exactly. What I it. remember. I I should. I donated to it, so I should remember. Yeah. But I don't remember the name. I can't of remember the... the exact name of that charity right now. But it, but that was uh, because that was when things were going down. Spoilers, they always are. But uh, <laughs> this is like in in the height of uh. But during that, we we uh, we, we that was more structured. So we just we just beat the entire game, like the way that you. Oh, wait, wait, you fight Minecraft. the ender, yeah. ender dragon? Yeah, I've done that before. <clears throat> you have to check this out. I subscribed to this magazine a few weeks ago. It's Looter's Literary Review. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> what? Are you kidding me? You don't know what it is? It's just the most epic treasure hunting magazine out there. Every issue has a very difficult and fantastic riddle to find the lost treasures of the Crow's End Inc. trading empire. They ferried goods from island to island. Before Raccoon Inc. became a merchant powerhouse, Crow's End reigned supreme. Of course, Theodore Raccoon started ambushing Crow's End vessels out of pure mercantile spite. But is he the one that's named differently? No, no, he's the one that's named the same. They're all named Theodore except for one, right? Um... I don't know. Yeah, no, I think Theodore is like the... The one Ding. that reigns. <laughs> the company collapsed after a few months of constant attack. Their wreckage still haunts our sea to this day. Entire shipments of valuables were lost at sea and never reco recovered. Until now, the answers are all here. One Crow's End Inc. treasure chart per issue. That's the promise. The rest of the magazine is articles about living off the land, fighting your dreams when sleeping. <laughs> what? It even has ads <laughs> for crystals and dragon eggs. It's a pretty great magazine. The guy who writes it is called Casper Crawford. Obviously a pseudonym for security reasons, to protect himself from fans and Raccoon Inc. Anyway, I just got my first issue. There's an article on secret airwaves that can cook food in seconds. Is it microwave? I'm gonna read that right now. You shake a crack at this issue's riddle. I bet it's a hard one. Go ahead, open it up. Oh, wow. First you gotta get the food that's burning let's see if i got it because it, she just said like a grain but i don't know i only had a few options so oh she looked cute oh i love those what i never can that? say them right what is that um i know that okay an, obviously an egg on top i'm, I'm gonna those things are made of oh fuck i don't i only have one more chance <clears throat> well, i can just cook more so there's potato hold on I can plant right, three fire glows potato i got chicken i got milk it's a soup so i feel like i should try the milk Maybe. Ugh, I don't know. Um, okay. We have a lot more fire glow. We just all, have to plan it. All I really know is I've, I've, as I've had... I've had... It said grain powder, right? So it's one of the things that well, you can mill. Well... Okay, I, th I don't know. I thought that, So but it's like corn or wheat? Or it was rice flour. The, rice. the only options it gave me for that, Oops. too. Oh, no. I missed my first note ever. In the history of the world? Burn the playthrough down. <laughs> I'm gonna look up how to say this fucking because I don't want to butch butcher the food that I like. <clears throat> so I know it's a traditional uh, breakfast dish. It's corn tortillas cut into quarters and lightly fried. Usually they put things like uh, green or red salsa, pulled chicken, cheese, refried beans, or scrambled eggs on it. We should see if that place has it. Um, 
Wait, which one of the mini <laughs> ones are you referring to? There are there is actually an absurd amount of food options here. It's just like it's just like it's like a I don't know, it's just very hearty breakfast. Like people eat it for breakfast a lot. I like oh. I tend to like it with the cheese and the salsa. It's just like not breakfast nachos, I guess is a good way the orchestra is like swelling in. Oh, and it cuts off when you're done. Let's see how to say it. There's a hard cut off when you when the things are finished growing. There, there's one billion more fire glow. Chilaquiles. 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 Okay. Sorry, sorry, everyone who, who was out there and was like, oh, it's so yeah. obvious. Like, I'm sorry. I prefer to just not <clears throat> find out and not correct it. And then they just all, then 10 people leave the same comment. And then that video gets 100 more views than the other ones Damn, did because well, people. How the fuck does that so make people. a chai latte? <laughs> <laughs> I, can I have it? <laughs> I would like a chai latte. Okay, I'll try the rice powder. <laughs> Who did you put in it? Milk. Did you put a mil milk and fire glow? Yeah, well, cause I was. Oh. I tried the other. Maybe you, you should look up what a la 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 the word was. Well, like, I mean, it's like not. What? It's not a real thing because it's fire glow is not a real thing, right? I mean, this is just a spicy so soup. It's a. Isn't is it not a real meal? Well, I I, I assumed it wasn't because it's made with fire glow. But I mean, let me chai see. lattes are real. Well, I I know that's real. <laughs> Unless I was just in a fugue state in half of college. <laughs> wow. Okay. Imagine a situation in which like everything in your whole world is the same, except that the existence of one thing is gone. Like, let's just yeah, say. Yeah, it's like the, that Beatles movie that was supposedly I think was bad. I heard. Oh, I heard so too. The one oh. where the Beatles just didn't exist. I guess that's. Oh, wait, oh you that, know. Okay, hold on. I guess Beatles and Harry Potter were didn't exist in that one. Okay. 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 Okay, I know it is rice powder. It is completely rice flour because I'm looking. It is a spicy noodle dish in Southeast Asia, so it is definitely. I think fire glow is just something spicy, which is why the chai latte. Is, <laughs> chai is kind of spicy, I guess. I don't know. It's just a, just a stand in for so, spicy. So I definitely picked the wrong grain. It's gonna be the other one. I got it. Okay, biloxa is real. I take it back. I just thought it wasn't because it had a fictional item in it. <laughs> <clears throat> what an adventure! And look at that. You got a. Portoland chart. The fuck? Portoland chart, which is basically just a pretty-looking treasure map. Well, there you, you said go. Said it's an adventure. I got mail. <laughs> that will help you find the treasure more easily. It's an old map, so it might not be that easy. You can use it with the projector in the archive room B two five two two. Go try it. Oh yeah. So this is because he's a character that they know they're going to keep around long term. So they're, they've integrated him into the DLC for Beverly, because she had us build the archive room. Oh, okay. Where was that? Oh yeah, I, I put a, I made it part of her house. <laughs> you put uh, all of her oh, all the things she has us build just become parts of her house, including the mistake clock. I want my house to include parkour. Which, funnily enough, looks more like a birdhouse. So it was like a like it was like a racist joke. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're a bird. You like this house? How dare did you? How dare you assume? The dead of night. Remember the friends you made along the way. Oh no, again. I have to remember them again. Oh no, this is. I don't think this is what we're looking for. It's their constellations. Yeah, I think it's just. I think it's just so we can look at them. Which ones did you like, and which ones did you hate? Which is? Wait, who is that? Who? The is that Buck in the top left, the giant head? Is that just Buck? Even though he's still here? No, no, no. no. You talking about the frog, our our uncle, oh, that we never got to actually oh, see die, in, but he has a constellation. Oh, he's up there. He just left without us because he's an asshole. Oh, Atoll's up there. Yeah. Okay. To be honest, the the one I don't remember it looks the a very bit, first It also one. looks a little bit like Buck because they only showed one eye, so it looks like a profile. Yeah, no, I I totally get it. But like, what's the what's the very first one top left? Like, that's the one that looks like nothing to me. Bam, bam, bam. Okay, so that's definitely the antlers on the right. I, the the mushroom guy is on the bottom, so it's not it's not that. Is it the little? Oh, my! You know, I know it's it's our bird friend. It's our it's our art artist bird friend. Oh yeah, yeah, the owl head. Yeah. Oh, the yeah the bird bird head. Astrid's dead. Well, they were already dead. Double dead. Double, Double dead. dead. Dare you? You you're gonna be double dead. Says Oogie Boogie. Blah blah blah. Feed me or I'll die. Let me feed him. Eh. Commander, I. Well, never mind. 
I have some. Oh, some snacks, Stella. You want some? I have some. I feel like he. Why didn't, didn't you eat those? Yeah, he wanted me to feed him you actual punk food. He, he just likes the intimacy. He wants. He wants to give me. He, he gives me Twinkies, <laughs> and I give him actual just food. Fly the spoon in. Here you go. Here's some cereal. Who's your oh, dumb I forgot. baby? I forgot. I just feel like cereal is something a gamer would like. Some of the constellations in the back. Alu, oh, not, this, the this, that's pattern. what I made. Alu Gooby, that's what I made Alu on accident. Gooby. Someone that's got a really funny name. Gooby, please. Oh wait, I just gave him dairy again. He's getting mad at me. I forgot. I forgot that fondue. Why are you dairy. such a bad friend? You don't even remember. Uh, what is it? Uh, chicken Alfredo is vegan. What is it? Chicken. 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 Whoa. Chicken katsu. There's like a record in here of the people's information. Gwen almost lost a finger while living on a farm in Indiana. Her favorite cigarette brand has always been Red Apple. And the night her mother died, she ate five buckets of popcorn to deal with grief. There's like a lot. Of, what, what was that? Oh, Alice. Likes one granddaughter more than the rest, but will never tell. Is what I <laughs> never turns down a drink, afraid of the big unknown. Always there for her big sister. What's that sound? Him eating. Oh, it's Beverly sleeping. Oh, that's pretty cute. Oh, it's over here. That's what I was supposed to use. I was confused because I couldn't see any more, like, new documents. Where the actual fuck is that? I think you have to just find a similar landscape on the map. Like, you have to use yeah. your print screen why use memory when you can use tools <laughs> put it in microsoft paint zoom in on it more so we can see it better on the second monitor cheating at video games look at me go wow, keith just did something that would have taken me like three weeks to figure out control c uh print screen control v what there is no control c in that i lied <laughs> i'm a liar look at me go <laughs> Dude, I have a tweak in my neck because my stupid dog decided to land on my pillows again. Is that why you're staring at the wall? Yeah, I was like, I was trying to stretch my neck. Wait, are we like there? We want we want the two little islands that are not that one. I also have a splinter because Keith wanted me to show him how to use chopsticks yesterday, and it's still there. I mean, that was not. That's, not that's a all that's, your fault. That's not a reasonable cause. That's and all your fault. <laughs> Can't I was having trouble effect. with the noodles, so I was like, "How are you holding them?" The and then you like immediately stabbed yourself. <laughs> well, I like, I like, I like, I was holding them already, so I, I like slid them, I pulled them out of my fingers with my other hand to like show him, and I gave myself a splinter. I'm trying to use a kitchen knife to dig it out this morning because I'm gnarly like that. Jesus. The amount of times I've like I've done this, because I work in a warehouse, I, I cut myself on pallets all the time. I, I just, I'll, I'll be at work and I'll use like a pen to like. To like cut myself open. I'll use a box cutter. Right. And actually, that's what I should use. It's right there. Can't take the effect and make it the cause. I didn't rob the bank because you made up the law. But you. It wants to do fire glow again. I wonder if I can say no. I mean. I don't think we're moving. Maybe if I say no, we'll move. So I, haven't, I don't think I've moved oh, since we I got here. <laughs> Sheep scared me. No. There no. you go. Good! Okay, I gotta try this now. But oh, yeah, I got fire glow. I forgot. I gotta wait. Can I water that some more? Yep, I can. And should. Oh yeah, maybe we should play a horror game next for October. Yeah, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Actually, I meant to ask you about that. I was like, I want to play a horror game. Because mm -hmm. you know why? Because I we was- have you play it and you get jump scared by everything and I don't have to work as hard. <laughs> what? Dude, I don't know. I'm, I'm so tough that that, I'm so I'm, tough. I, that it won't be satisfying for anyone. I, I wasn't afraid of anything. Yeah, Master Chief. Fucking, um... <laughs> Is uh, Master Chief the one from that meme? Yeah, the Jesus. Master Chief doesn't afraid of anything. Like raffle, <laughs> raffle copter, raffle, 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 raffle. raffle. <laughs> I don't know. Old videos from the internet. 
The the just got activated uh, as a sleeper agent. Just went off what, for a what while. The fuck? There. It was like it's like Master Chief and um, I forgot what they were called. Like Chief and something, and they go on adventures. There's a spider. <laughs> There's somebody out there who's gonna know what I'm talking about. Please help me if you're in the comments. It's it's the it's Master Chief and he's got his friend, who's the alien guy, who I forget the name of because I haven't played Halo in like a million years. Um, the Arbiter? Yeah, yeah, Arbiter and the Chief. And it's a, it was, it was a, some guy made a bunch of videos using action figures of them both, and they would talk to each other. I accidentally encountered this person again. Oh! Oh, it's the giant tree. There's a spider named Greg, I think. My name's Greg. <laughs> the whole show just consists of Master Chief being a dick to the Arbiter. As they are little action figures that walk around. Kind of reminds me of, like, Kablam. Wait, oh yeah, we have to saw this motherfucker. But you know, I was, I was I saw that one of the games we played on that um, October bundle last time was actually on the Switch to be bought in full edition, <laughs> and I was like, oh yeah, I Which remember that? playing that. It was the one. Um, man, they were also like abstract. It would be hard to explain to you. Uh, I don't even think I really can. <laughs> it, it was it. <laughs> it's like it was the one with the, it's like the, a house on a lake. Oh, this is I the guess. one that's kind of mean. This is the bitch one. Uh, I took the the what the spa? No, it wasn't the spa one. It was the other one with the house on the lake. And it was like the, there was a potion. I don't know. See, that's the thing is I can't explain it. There's like nothing else <laughs> I could help you with. There was like a tree. There's a house on a lake, a potion, and a tree. <laughs> Yeah, I know it doesn't make any sense, but I swear if I show you which one it is, you, you won't be able to think of a better way to explain it than that. Uh, it was kind of peaceful. I'm just like one of the main games. I, one of the games I played recently, the one I, d I interviewed the developer of recently, was a, it was a house on a lake. So all I can think about is a fucking like serene puzzle game, and I'm like, Hormuth? Yeah, no, I'll, I'll I'll like just and the name is on in in it it isn't it's on. The name's not memorable, so I'm not gonna be able to remember that either. Whatever, I'll I'll figure it out and show it to you. If I remember, maybe I'll post it in the comments so that way people aren't fucking confused assert, out of their mind. Assert dominance on ladder. That, that's, <laughs> that's. How is she doing that? <laughs> that that's kind of rude, Keith. What is her art? <laughs> fucking um, but no, we should play a scary game for sure. Let's see. Is Lisa the Painful scary? I want to play that one for sure, but There's I think so you've already played that one, right? No, I haven't. Oh, oh, uh, oh, that one. My list is infinite. Let I think get... I think that one's sad. We got to get to Omori and Lisa the Painful. I I, I really off. want to play. Oh fuck! I really want to play Omori too. Is off the game that's inspired by Paranoia Agent. There's so many games. Oh. There's too that many. Might... There's too many games. Well, okay. Maybe, <laughs> Psychonauts two. Maybe we can obscure two. Play a short one for Spookies, and then we can play a more long form one for, like, fucking, uh, like Amori's for sure one of the ones I'm considering. But I know I don't know how long that is. It might be like a million years. I, I hate I hate to rope you into such a commitment. I don't know. A lot of the Earthbound inspired games are surprisingly short, so it's hard to guess. That is weird because Earthbound's not really short. Yeah. And like Undertale is Undertale's only like five hours long. It's one of the big surprises it's got. Do, 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 um, do, do, do. Is there anything do, in the water? Do, 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 do. Are we arrived? I think I'm making my Loxa, so hopefully that works. Loxa love! Is it the name of your hair salon, Keith? Oh, so, see, I was singing this, the song from Earthbound. That does sound like that, you're right. Eh? <laughs> I don't know. I don't, uh, we're, we're not there yet, apparently. But it looks like the right spot, doesn't it? Um, I wasn't really looking. <laughs> wow, thanks. It's just the only goal we have right I'm, now. I'm very supportive. <laughs> I'm just here to podcast. You, you have you have to you, you have game. to fail to succeed to succeed. You know, I, I gotta support you. In wow, that. deep. 
<laughs> you know what else is deep? <laughs> Fucking get succeeding at things. <laughs> that, that's how I'll convince my 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 kid that I'm a, I'm a good parent, even though I'm neglectful. No, no. <laughs> yeah, he has to fail to succeed. Gotta know when to hold him. No when to hold him. No one. That song just reminds me of <laughs> Hank Hill. I don't think that's the right. I I don't think that's the right island information, to be honest. No, what else could it be? Well, I guess, yeah, no, I mean, I guess it's, got the it, it's like an abstract interpretation, it's I suppose. It's got the two islands, the big dark stuff. Maybe it's like deeper. Hmm. Take me home. Take me home again. This is hard. Make the locks so we can beat the game. <laughs> It's it's being it's being made, bruh. Ding. See, there you go. Yeah, I finally did it. Now I'm gonna make something in the meantime just for fun. What are you doing? With? I don't know. I don't like to leave the oven empty ever. I think I've made like everything, so <laughs> or everything I could think of. I'm sure there's something. I was, I was gonna say like making everything's probably the hardest thing in the game. Well, honestly, there's just like so many things that just I guess are like you think you've already done it, but I guess oh, you know, it's hard he's to keep talking. track. Whoa! What a great riddle! I bet you won't figure it out. I know where to look, but I've taken an oath, the looter's oath, which states never talk about looting with another looter. You're on your own for this one, Stella. But Buck's the one who's taken that oath. Let me find the voice. One second. Arr! He's gonna play Ahoy there, matey! Old Johnny Silverleg is right here by me maiden's side, hoisting the mainsail. As an humble buccaneer, I mm -hmm. never disobey me captain. These crows and ink treasures are the old Corsair's dream. If you ever need it, I can offer me up a cartography knowledge. Come see me if I ever feel lost on these seas. Arr! Good luck, captain. What a goofball. I love him, he's very cute. You got all the spices right. It smells amazing. All right, let me give it a try. My stomach is basically a hot pepper at this point. I can handle it. Give. Give her food. Give her Throw food her again. Throw her in the trash. Hand her, something, hand her like the wrong Luxa. thing. A spicy, a delicious spicy noodle soup that will cure any cold. See, I don't like how she judges her friends based on if they can handle spicy food, because like I just couldn't be friends with her, and it wouldn't even be my fault. <laughs> just the right kind of that tongue burning. I mean, that's incredible. You haven't lost your way around a kitchen. Wow, I can feel my sinuses clearing. Thank you, sweet pea. I suppose I got carried away a bit there. Sorry, there isn't any left for you. Don't you worry, I'll make it up to you. I know, I know. This is supposed to be a treat for you as well. Next time. Well then, do you have a minute? Like I was saying, I've been having this dream. Don't worry, I'm not a monster. I won't start telling you my dreams. Well, maybe a little. So in my <laughs> dream, I was using the projector in Archive Room B25522. Then I was transported inside the images. The first image was, let's see. Oh, I remember. We went sightseeing in the city. Rented an apartment for the whole family. It was so luxurious. We had the whole week planned out. Museums, parks, restaurants. Obviously, Henry got sick on the first day. I remember saying by his side knitting. The only thing he was able to do was draw. Poor thing. He was really obsessed with his cartoon show back then. It's probably just giant robots and men in tights. The apartment was somewhere in Old Central District. It was supposed to be our home away from home. For a week at least. And the whole time I was eating a giant bag of sweet corn. That's dreams for you. Throw is a bit foggy. Hopefully if you find the acetate, it'll jog my memory a bit more. Thanks again, sweet pea. You're a lifesaver. Acetate. That seems iffy. <laughs> find acetate in old central district. Where'd Buck go? I was like, uh, I forget what acetate actually is. I just think of acetone, which is definitely not. Yeah, it just sounds like something that you don't want anywhere near your body. I, I don't see any treasure. Are you sure? Oh, damn, just casserole. That's just so generic. I made something not interesting. <laughs> um, Your art has failed. Oh, no. Again? Where is 
something district. Old Central District. Look Is that what? in this area? I can't see. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> Old Central District. Oh, there it is. So then... Was it you I was talking to you about fossil words? Blast is over there. Like word, like how words... Like old words that aren't used anymore? Yeah, they, they only exist in a phrase. Let's see. Like flotsam and jetsam. Because like the word flotsam is still used, but jetsam is never used except for the, the phrase flotsam and jetsam. Oh. Or like what in tarnation? Like tarnation is not a word that exists anymore, except for in that phrase. There's no mm. other definition for it. So acetate is a salt of acetic acid. It's used to make textile fibers or plastic. What the hell? Okay. Because you often hear like something acetate. It's used for everything from birthday cards to chocolate making to overhead projectors. <laughs> oh, oh, wait. Oh, no, no, no. She means um, transparent, flexible, ultra versatile material. I think she means for uh, overlays, like she, for she uh, wants, she the wants projector. She transparency. Exactly. I was like, that's a, it's so vague. It's just, <laughs> she literally just said plastic to us, basically. Yeah, like it just has some sort of specific context in their language. Well, she said, like, to jog my memory, so I thought she was going to be taking acetate. Yeah, so. exactly. So I was like, what the fuck? They're called, trans they called transparencies. In, when I was in school. Well, they, I think they, they still are called transparencies. I think she just needs the plastic to make transparencies with. Maybe. <laughs> I just know that like, a lot of older folks have like a bad history with like the medications being used back when they were young not being a good option now because of what we learned about them over, over time. Like how a lot of weight loss pills back in the day were just actually methamphetamine. Yeah. So it's like so like I went, in the requiem. When an old person who's kind of like old losing, ladies on speed. Yeah. And there's like an old She's gonna eat one grapefruit and speed. <laughs> that, That's the diet. Yeah, that it's movie's called Super Paleo. <laughs> super trippy. That that breaks my heart. She's like, I just want to wear the red dress. She's trying to lose weight so she can wear her red dress again because she's gonna be on TV. She's gonna be on TV, but she, and she doesn't go on TV. Well, because she's being scammed. Because her life's ruined. I just want to wear the red dress. I just want my place oh, yeah. in was the she sun. Falling, she was falling for a scam the whole time. Too. Yeah, so yeah, she was like, she... So it was never going to happen. We're spoiling a movie for a bunch of people. Well. <laughs> Although, to be honest, the scam thing isn't like... It's very known to the audience because it's very obvious. Like, If you want to watch a really sad movie, just watch anything that Darren Aronofsky has ever made. Because it'll make you upset every time, which is like why I like his movies so much. Yep. I, I actively seek them when I'm feeling depressed and I need to feel more depressed to feel like less depressed. Like Noah. Uh, you know what's funny? That, that's the God's one dick. I have not seen. <laughs> the movie. Only because I was like, oh, I, I didn't really think about it being by him. I just thought about it being like some, some religious movie. <laughs> Which I naturally avoided, but I will have to take that into consideration because I'm sure it's probably good. Mother was very good. I still haven't seen Mother. Mother makes me too upset to watch most of the time. <laughs> it just makes me incredibly anxious. Anytime you put a pregnant woman in a, in a movie that's kind of scary, like, it's, it's always funny, it's stressful. It's funny because you default to me upsetting media so often that the, the, the idea that anything is, like, off-limits is always a little, kind of a little bit of a surprise. Well, no, it's not off-limits, it's just I have to space it out. Like, for example, I can't watch The Green Mile very often because it makes me cry too hard. It gives me a headache. Like, I, <laughs> and, and, oh, Forrest Gump, dude. I was telling you how I was just Does talking about it. If well, You don't know how much I cry, like... Oh. <laughs> I cry, like, for hours. Wow. And, and then, like, I just, I had, then I will lose all my hydration, <laughs> falls out my eyeballs. <laughs> Jesus. Where's. And, and plus, the Green Mile is a really long movie, so it's like, it takes, I, you take it's like a solid three hours, so. Being upset for that long, not great. Forrest Gump makes me cry in the first, like, ten minutes when his mom's being nice to him <laughs> about him being different, and I do not stop crying from that I've point on. I've never seen Forrest Gump. What? Are you kidding, Keith? Are you serious with me right now? Yeah, I've never seen Forrest Gump. Oh my gosh. What's funny is one of my old college friends specifically kind of flipped out when they found out that I had a copy of Forrest Gump because it's their favorite movie, and so they, rent they like, borrowed it from me for, like, a month so they could watch it. <laughs> I love that movie. is a great movie. And by and by me having, I mean like my family had a copy. I think my stepmom brought it when she moved in or something, but I've still never seen it. Like Forrest like, Gump as a character is like one of the most endearing 
and wonderful characters. You! <laughs> oh, gosh. <laughs> what are you doing here? I didn't know the circus was in town. You need to get down from there. You are not allowed. I paid good money to live here, alone with my things. If I wanted to see an acrobat, I'd pay to see one. You do look like an acrobat. Stop trying to rob me, you burglar. <laughs> oh, gosh. Excuse me, princess. <laughs> Well, now I gotta get up there because it's present. Oh, shit, how to get up there? Oh. There must be a taller building nearby. Oh, there we go. Haha. -ha. Huh? Oh, no. Fuck. Uh -huh. I thought that was a ledge. I thought that was a ledge. Yeah, there's a lot of fake outs. Uh, you really fucked us here. <laughs> I did, didn't I? Co op is a nightmare <laughs> for platforming. Well, it is for this because I wish I just had the option where I could just fly to you like every other game in the world. I don't know where the fuck I am. So, go get okay. it. Go get it, Keith. Uh. You can do it. Family vacation. A picture of Henry when Henry. he was eight years old. Oh, is that the acetate? Yeah, yeah. I think it's just on oh, a. Shit. I think I think it's already on a, a transparency. I thought it was going to be at the store or something, but I guess that would make sense for like a personal memory thing. Is it down here? But I'm sure you get on some levels like the. Uh, there's like certain movies that get universally recommended all the time. Like it's just like a white noise of everyone talking about how good a movie is. That's from like before you were watching movies actively. And it's almost always disappointing. <laughs> like, you finally get around to watching it and you're like, Yeah, that was a movie. I don't... It's fine, I guess. I don't understand why everyone's yelling about it all the time. You gotta be able to separate that like, out from your brain to enjoy anything. Like In fact, Ghostbusters or whatever. I'm, I'm, uh... Because Ghostbusters is really underwhelming. Well, I always expect the worst and hope for the best, so I'm and, automatically and predisposed to, to expect absolutely nothing. What you... You don't think... Uh, so yeah, I forgot. You don't think Back to the Future is, a, is good, which is so shameful. No, I, I don't think Ghostbusters is good. I just didn't care very much about Back to the Future. I can't believe it. It doesn't work. I can't sleep. Why, why, why I'm not? I'm broken. But The button just doesn't do it. Maybe, maybe we gotta talk to Buck. He's around. Hello, Buck. <laughs> I can see your dedication to the quest of nourishment. Any explorer of any worth needs sustenance. An adventurer's pouch must contain multitudes. In my case, it's always the circumference of the red tomatoes of death. For every occasion, my absolute favorite fare. Oh, Buck, great taste. Mm -hmm. Great taste, Buck. Tomatoes are top. Top tier. Tomato seared. pizza. That's tomato pizza if you didn't get it. Just tomatoes and cheese? Tomato pizza. It's a, uh, it's uh, like a, like a margarita pizza. Yeah, but I don't know how well, to. I'm, more th tomato. I'm thinking about how to make that. Oh, like the, one of the two ingredients. Yeah, I'm, probably dough and tomato. But I, I don't have dough. Dough isn't like a pre-made thing. Wheat and tomato. Yeah, it's gonna, it's gonna, well, or tomato and cheese. I'm not sure. I guess probably more tomatoes. So yeah. yeah, more tomato bread. But it's hard, it's hard to find people that hype up these movies that didn't grow up with them. But okay, hard, you, you also helps. have it to. It kind of feels like that's just what it is. It's like, cool, yeah, great. I like Dark Crystal a lot, and nobody cares about it when they see it later in life. No, so, you like, always have samesies, bro. To pay attention to who's talking, like that's really important. Like there are movies who are recommended, and I know they're recommended because they're basic bitch movies that everyone knows. But there are people if they recommend that movie to me, still, I still, like, I'll be like, okay. Well, yeah, like if certain people, rec if someone recommends Green Book to you, you know that to not listen to them anymore. <laughs> For anything. I mean, I've never, I don't plan on ever watching it, but hypothetically, if some, it has to be like an amazing person. If they're like, actually, Green Book's amazing, I'd be like, okay, fine, I'll try. But they have to be like one of the people I respect the most. <laughs> but like, uh, no, there's like certain people where like, you will like this. I'm like, okay. And, like, <laughs> So it's, like, so it's like, you know, I, I will be like, okay, yeah. No, honestly, Ghostbusters is a little bit overrated. I think it's a nice, I think it's a nice, like, enjoyable movie. Like, I enjoy my time with it. But I will straight up tell you, I think that Forrest Gump's an actually fantastic movie. Because on a, it has a more emotional appeal. Like, like there are some movies that are fun. Like, oh, that's great. Like, it's fun. Like, you know. Well, yeah, it's, well, Forrest Gump's, like, more directly, like, about something as opposed to being, like, and it's a, another, like, kind of, like, nerd bait movie. Like they were like they get like an inflated sense of like importance the way that like things like Ghostbusters were like the precursor like the superhero uh, and and Anna Fala were like the Star Wars stuff where it's like there's like a certain type of person it appeals to that makes it get like a really inflated like noise floor for how much it gets talked about. 
But like, but like me and my brother and my sister were sitting, and me and, and we were all sitting around talking about which parts of that movie are our favorite, and we all had different ones. And it's a solid three-hour movie. Yeah. But still, it's like, oh yeah, this part. And then I was like, I started crying talking about one part. My brother started talking about the other part, and I started crying again. And I was just crying talking about it because of that movie. <laughs> so it, like, it's 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 a uh, no. It's just very very good. And I like that it, it covers like a bunch of t- points in history. So if you're interested in like American history, it has a lot of appeal. I still haven't seen Citizen Kane. And see that? See and then okay. And then that's a movie. Or I will bomb. Uh, uh, love bomb. No, yeah, strange, yeah, strange, strange Doctor Strange Love. <laughs> strange Love. Damn it! I always think his name is Strange Glove. <laughs> He's the one I call Doctor Strange Glove. <laughs> My favorite Stanley Kubrick film will always be The Shining, but I do think that um, Doctor Strange Love is I think I only saw really the TV great. version of The Shining. That's awful. I'm sorry. Uh, I've never seen 2001. 2001. I, have, I have seen Clockwork Orange. It's, Clockwork Orange is really great to me because I like its themes the, on determinism. The old the ultra violence. She's dead. Oh, where, where is she though? Oh right, I have to project the thing, and then she'll. <laughs> if you play it, they will come. <laughs> <laughs> There she is. Oh, oh, cute. I, the first thing I saw was boobs. <laughs> I was like, what am I looking at? Oh, gosh. I had to, like, unsee it before I could parse what I was looking at. <laughs> is that, I guess this is wings. He's thinking about titties. <laughs> <laughs> I just I just saw two, like, I, I saw, like, a bra, basically, and I'm like, wait, what am, I can't make out the image around it anymore. <laughs> I had to, like, unsee it to see what the image was. Oh, my goodness, Keith. <laughs> Look at that. That's not titties. <laughs> It could be. There's, there's some. There's a boob and a tit bird. Do you know what that is? Yeah, the boob, I could, blue I could still be right. Maybe I was really clever, actually. <laughs> yeah, way to turn it around, Keith. Boom! Nailed it. <laughs> Edited out the ten seconds of hesitance where I sounded stupid. <laughs> <laughs> you have to do a lot of editing. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> My whole channel. <laughs> That's not a giant robot. That's me. I look so young. It's, it's a cartoon. You can't like. I don't think you knew how to draw age lines yet. <laughs> Oh, wow. He was drawing me knitting in that chair. Oh, Henry. Growing up made me such a sweet- made such a sweetheart out of him. I'm just imagining him getting better at drawing now, but she likes the drawings less and less because they more accurately capture her age because he's getting- because he's growing in talent. Dude, uh, I was- I was- quick, quick tangent. Ralph Stedman wrote a book, right, and he was talking about- his art and how he would draw people and if you know what Ralph Stedman's art looks like it's I not don't. appealing it's Who's like Ralph Stedman he's the guy that illustrate well he's mostly known for illustrating uh everything that Hunter S. Thompson did it's like Fear and Loathing oh, in Las is, Vegas is, is he the one that it's literally that poster in my room so he's he's the one that would draw people and then the, the, that he thought were beautiful or really cared about yeah, or someone he, and then he, they get insulted was, by she, what he drew he was trying to hit on this girl yeah and he was drunk and so he started drawing her in his style and she got so pissed that her boyfriend showed up and tried to fight them, and they had got kicked out of the bar because he was like, he was like, she like started crying. He's like, oh no 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 no, oh no no. He's like, I- I'll fix it, I'll fix it. And he like, he he just draws in such a weird style that he couldn't draw like he does a lot of political cartoons, and they're really good. But yeah, no, if you knew his style, like I would think it was sick if he drew me. But like, if you want like a pretty girl to be drawn pretty, like it's not. She's not gonna like it. Like, yeah. <laughs> it just was very funny. That's why there's so many stories where it's like. I know. I remember the story, but I'll literally seconds later forget the name that it was all attached to. So, so if you tell me, if you're like, "Oh yeah, that guy," I'm like, "Who? What? I don't. I don't know. I don't work that way. I can't remember names for <laughs> They're shit. like abstract drawings, I guess. I yeah. guess I could say it that way. Yeah. Growing up made such a sweetheart out of him. Before that, he was a little monster, the kind of kid who's noisy when the show is on, but calm during the commercials. That's annoying. One day he just calmed down. It was strange. Overnight, he became his dad. Brilliant and quiet. Real quiet. He just retreated into his thoughts. What an odd thing to to think in your head at night. To, hmm, dream. Yeah, dream about. You need to take a nap, lady? Is she okay? Probably not. She's dead. (laughs) Bad news. (laughs) Yeah, I think we're just waiting for the sun to go down then. Well. That's like the epitome I mean, of I wish there was other pizza. tasks to do. You did the... You I'd, made tomato pizza. <laughs> I had actually already well, we done it. we talked to old lady. Hey, where the... F- 
where the fuck is Buck? Buck's here to party. Whoa. <laughs> do, you, do you remember that? Like in the TV edit of Kill Bill? He's like, my name is Buck and I'm here to party. <laughs> <laughs> so fucking stupid. Oh, there he yeah. is. No, that's not, and they had, they had to blur out the, the pussy on the pussy wagon. So just his wagon. Which is funny. I never watched much TV movies or movies on TV, but uh, I did randomly tune into like one of the Blade movies once, and it was just really funny that, like, Ryan Reynolds was just swearing a bunch, but it was being replaced with like words like fruity and stuff. Yeah, no, and, and, and there's and, some funny ones, but it was like seamless, and I'm like, oh, it sounds like he just, I think he just actually voiced all of the replacement dub, and fixed that up. Uh, maybe there's just some guy that really sounds like him. I can't feed him yet because he's not hungry. You fool. Favorite fruit tomato pizza. Can you, can you give it to him? Is that... Nope. Oh. Like, our short rest has already been taken. Old Johnny Silverleg knows a thing or two about treasure. Especially this here one. Oh yeah, I'm a pirate. <clears throat> Old dripping route that was abandoned by crows and ink. There was a route be known for repeated pirate attacks. Okay. <laughs> just hit, hit thrust away. I just I don't I just don't know how to find it. Look look at the map again. I really don't think that was the right island. I think we're missing something because that that shape wasn't right. But I mean you know, and I think it's gonna be an actual icon. Like I I think there's like I think we're visiting like a town or a city or something. No, it's it just said buried treasure. Whenever we find treasure on a map and it just gives us coordinates, you just go there, and there's just it's in the middle of nowhere, and then there's something something in the water. I mean, I guess it could be like a very like once again, it could be an interpretive drawing. I'm just not convinced by the shape. The more I look around, like there's no other squiggle that looks yeah, like it. Yeah, I, the, I that guess. Definitely looks like the blue squiggle. Is it's not like that? Those crates right there, is it? I mean, that's obviously not in the right line, so it doesn't really make sense. Um, it definitely seems to be like it's here. I think it's down. Like, because like here's the two islands, and there's like a curve around them, and there's the three. The, the, We're like really far away, aren't we? I need to go take the bus. <laughs> I'm like this close to just fucking looking it up, though, <laughs> because I'm like, what? It, what am I off by? Am I off by like just? A few? Like, I don't know how. I don't know how big the circle is. You know what I mean? I'm gonna be like, mad if we in. have to like listen to all of his clues or something. Like, those are some prerequisite. Like, oh, you have to do this. You didn't listen to his clues enough, and that's that unlocks it. We didn't Yogurt? expect you to actually figure it out yourself, you loser. You want snacks? Just cook yogurt? What happens if I just cook yogurt? I'm just getting, getting like, desperate over here with the cooking. I'm just like, let's cook... Tomato pizza. One... Yeah. Oh, yeah. He was yelling about food. I guess it was because he was going to give food. Well, I think he just wants to be... I don't know. You can't even talk to him anymore. He just wanted pizza. I also would like tomato pizza. You know, as much as I like tomatoes, I don't think... They're not bad. Like, I don't like cooked tomatoes as much as like raw tomatoes, which is like a very unpopular opinion. Yeah. I don't... I don't know. Most people just don't even like tomatoes. <clears throat> a lot of them don't. I'm fine with like there being like slices of tomato on a pizza or in a, in a burger or something, but I don't particularly like tomatoes that much. Eat them like an apple. I don't know if I have a preference for cooked or uncooked. I just don't think I like them especially in either way. I oh, prefer the oh. onion. I mean, yeah, but you can't eat onions on their own either. Yeah, you can. I mean, you can. Yeah, I guess we have done that. Yeah. I just went raw, you though. You can't fucking stop I me. meant raw. <laughs> okay, Shrek. <laughs> Not too long ago, I had a breakfast that was just a bunch of Brussels sprouts and two entire onions just cut up and baked. No, that's legit. And then I mixed it up into a bowl with some salt and pepper. And it's like, that's just fucking great. It tastes so good, and it's, it's... There's so little to it, I didn't have to do anything. Let's go way the fuck out here. I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know what I'm doing, Stephanie! You fix all my problems for me! You have to fail to succeed, kid. No! <laughs> <laughs> Why did I get the self-help model? Why does it, uh... Why can't I, like, sing to the oven make it cook faster? Maybe you can, I don't know. Have you tried? 
Uh, Checkmate. <laughs> actually, I've never, I've never even done that thing you're doing, so... Trying to find out how good you are at it. <laughs> uh, I made a, I just cooked yogurt and made a questionable meal. There's a lot, there's a lot of ways you can cook yogurt, don't fucking lie to me. Did you cook only yogurt? Yeah. Oh. This is... <laughs> is that the problem? <laughs> Sure, Stephanie, there are many ways to cook yogurt. I don't think that was it. <laughs> I think that was on the list. I'm just gonna put this yogurt in the microwave. Just for two try. hours. <laughs> I'll put one shrimp in the oven. Let's we'll see what happens. There you go. What other things can I I guess they're ready or whatever, but I don't actually care. That was just killing time. Oh my. Oh. You're not feeding the sheep enough, they ate all of the crops. <laughs> they ate all the crops I just grew, and I can't get out. Stephanie, help. The fucking sheep are in the way, I can't leave. No, they need the fire club. There we go, Jesus Christ. <laughs> yeah, they, they ate everything. Oh, I'm sorry. Do you, there we go. She's, she slept on it. I do enjoy being on this boat. I've been wondering, would it be possible to build me a house? Um... You remember, the kids and Dave and I lived on a farm. We had nature all around. We had dogs and goats. It was a cozy little farmhouse. It wasn't much, but it was ours. Oh, her face. Oh, my little farmhouse. Oh, that's right. It's right here. Well, a job well done once again. Not everyone is good with houses. Ooh. Oh, no, her face. Oh. Like just stares off into the distance, then looks around confused. Mm. That's why I gotta pep her up, pep her up with a chai latte. She's I don't wake her up, bread. keep her active. Somebody should have played video games their whole lives, and then they wouldn't have a degrading mind. Oh God, she teleported. Oh, what the fuck? <laughs> oh, I know what I wanted to tell you. A man from this town was one of the two real estate agents around. He just started and wanted to make an impression. He had a giant mustache and was always wearing a tuxedo. It was quite odd. Anyway, it turns out that he couldn't sell a house to save his life, but he was a lead salesperson in his district for two years straight. The local papers did a big story on him. They found out his wife was buying up all the properties. She had like 20 houses in her name. The whole neighborhood was nearly empty. She could afford it. Her dad had struck rich in oil. Just goes to show you, you can't judge a... by his... Acetate. Well then... Oh, sweetheart. Mm. Here, have a, um... It's okay. Don't be sad. Um... Have a sweet coffee. Oh, oh yeah, no stimulants. Oh, right. God, what, Stephanie, why didn't you know that? I'm sorry. <laughs> why does the game let me do this? Some bread. I mean, it's a bird, so you like bread, yeah? <laughs> wow. Judgy. If it doesn't like expand in your stomach, make you die like those ducks. Shrimp cocktail, of course. I don't know where this thing is. <laughs> what do you what do you want from me? What do you want from me? Do do do, do. I may just need to check. Let's see. Literary review that auto completed really hard. <laughs> it knew. I bet if I fight, if I look this up, it'll be like, eh, it's like two feet to the right. Fuck you. Yes. Yeah. Uh, dude, why would it do that? Why would it make it so specific? I mean, granted, in real life, obviously, I mean, would be video games have a loud, a long and proud history of being a little bit of a dick. <laughs> All right, so it's like exactly here, basically. That last word really cut the the weight of the first words in that sense. It's exactly basically here. <laughs> it may be, um, hmm. Every now and then you can, you can just kind of sense it. You just sniff it out when you're like, No, I'm right. The game is wrong. <laughs> yeah, fuck that. Like, it's like, it's not somewhere totally different. It's just the game's being really, really specific, even though it's a vague map with an X drawn on it. Like, they want me to just go in circles for three hours or something. It's like, I got a fucking video to end, so fuck you. 
We got the hour mark. I was slightly off. Whee! It's... Water retaining soil? Oh, so you don't have to water it as much. Water? Oh. There's an upgrade for the fields and the garden, I think? Is that what it said? Yeah, no, there's a... I mean, there is... As a person with reptiles who has to maintain humidity, there actually is a benefit <laughs> to having water retaining substrate. Also good for plants. Oh, great pirate captain. What a marvelous find. <laughs> In the ice, no less. Many captains have perished in such conditions. Not ye. No need to walk the plank. Arr. No, we just have to wait for the next issue of Luger's Literary Review. Hopefully he has more articles about seagulls. More articles about seagulls. I can only hope. His his subplot helps us waste time while we wait for her, her to memory degrade until oh, she's oh ready no. to die. <laughs> oh no! No! That's what we're waiting for! <laughs> That's fucking sad.